Tractor Tales, brought to you by Mobile Delvac. Switch to Mobile Delvac. Long live your engine and your business. Available at Sam's Club. Before Al joins us for Tractor Tales, I wanted to offer some comments surrounding a Facebook debate about repainting tractors. Two weeks ago, we featured a 1937 Farmall F20. While the original paint scheme for this model changed from gray to red, this collector had painted his white. Now this type of hobby seems to attract perfectionists, and their diligence and research do maintain a high standard of historic accuracy. But our old tractor community has room for all kinds of fans. So join the discussion on Facebook and help keep this community fun and welcoming. Now on to this week's classic tractor. Al, what do you have for us? John, we're looking at a Ford 8N from a young man with a large collection in the thumb of Michigan. The classic Ford may look small, but it packs a mighty punch. Owner Harold McTaggart shares his story. <laughs> My name is Harold McTaggart, and I'm from Port Hope, Michigan. And uh, you want to know how old I am, don't you? Sure. You're going to ask me. I'm 82 years old, and I think it's time I quit. <laughs> quit what? Quit fixing these old tractors. Oh, this is an 8N Ford, and there's thousands and thousands of them on the road yet today. They're out, but this is a kind of a special one to me because I tore it apart and I put a V8 engine in it and it come out of a 1948 Ford truck, the engine. And I overhauled the engine and redone it and put it in this track and fixed it to fit. And it's a beautiful unit. It just runs beautiful. It goes good. It, it's fast. It's easy to drive and anybody can use it. They had a little four cylinder, 26 horsepower engine in them and, and they were usually just good for getting the cows and fixing the fence and I wanted something I could show off a little bit with, so <laughs> so I took the time and I done this, and I was happy I've done it. it it's been a real nice tractor. What are my plans with it now? Yeah. Oh, I just chase around with it and take a little ride on it and let my family use it, and that's about it. And I don't know what I'll do with it. I, I suppose when I die, they'll have an auction sale. I'd thought about it a long time, and, and I'm not a good mechanic, but I spent a lot of time, and it came out pretty good. Don't forget, you can find Tractor Tales online at usfarmreport.com or on Facebook. The segments can also be downloaded as podcasts from iTunes. Today's country church salute goes to a church in Maine with a very long name. It's Bessie Gray Memorial United Methodist Church in the town of Caribou. It's named after the wife of the first pastor, Reverend James Gray. It was built in 1913. In advance of the centennial, the church has been undergoing a major renovation. Now, while this structure is 100 years old, the roots of the congregation actually date back to the 1860s. Our thanks to Mary Lou Brown and Clara Hodgkins for sharing the history. And as always, we want to learn more about your home church as well. Salutes can be sent to the address on the screen. Stay with us now. The mailbag is next. Enter for a chance to win a trip to the ACMAs from Case IH and Farm Journal Media at agweb.com slash ACMA underscore giveaway. <laughs> 